Hey guys, so I just got finished uh, uploading my before pictures to bodybuilder.com and I'm just on here now like researching everything for the competition and basically just trying to get some information on supplementation, um, some different workout plans and basically mapping out my course of action for the next 12 weeks. So going to show you my progress pics so that's me Ooh. but uh so i just uploaded my pictures and yeah i'm getting ready for this contest so i have really been um today like the entire day i took off work i play hooky but um i've really been like um just kind of meditating and in prayer about the whole thing. This transformation is not just like a physical transformation, it's a mental one as well. And I already have a vision of how I want this year to turn out. And so I'm really taking some time now, even with this transformation challenge to sit down and plan my course of action over the next week, over the next month, over the next two months over the next six months and up into this year. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm on bodybuilder.com and trying to get as much information about the diet, nutrition, and supplementation that I'm going to be using for the next 12 weeks. And um, that's basically it. So we are going to go through this journey together. I'm going to document as much of this as possible and be very transparent and candid um, because I know this is not going to be a easy process for me. Um, but I'm a firm believer that if someone else did it, I can do it too. And for you guys who are watching, if I'm going through it and I'm doing it, you can definitely do it. I'm not doing anything that no one else um, has either done or can do. It's nothing, you know, spectacular about me. You just have to really have the drive and the motivation to do it. So... You guys want to join in on the journey with me and we're going to see where it ends. Hey guys, so today is day number, hmm, day number six of my week one and I am so sore. I was almost in tears when I woke up. My lats are burning as we speak. It's hard for me to actually hold this camera up. My legs are just done. They're noodles. Um, and I feel like, I don't even know, <laughs> I don't even know what muscle this is, but it's a muscle I never even knew I had, and that hurts. It's not to the point now, because I'm up, it's more like it's sore. I need some glutamine or some BCAA. I need something. I Advil, but I am so sore. Thank God, today is Sunday, so thank God today. Is a rest day and then tomorrow is a rest day I'm fully taking advantage I was thinking about doing active rest which means maybe go for a walk or a light job there's no way I'm resting I'm not doing anything I'm that sore so I'm just going to prep my meals because today is Sunday I'm going to church and I'm going to be out for most of the day so I'm going to prep my meals so that I have everything every, I have uh, see I'm tired so I have everything I'm going to need for the rest of the day also, I want to show you guys what I found at GNC last night. So, I was watching a couple um, YouTubers last night, and they were talking about some of the things they use for, like, protein and stuff like that, which I already have protein, but I wanted to try two of the protein bars because I'm eliminating sugar and processed foods from my diet. So, I found this Power Crunch bar yesterday, and I had one last night because my cravings for sugar were, like, attacking me they was chasing me down the street so i got this one last night and i also got this one which is cookies and cream and this one was really good and i have this one so last night i had this one it was really good i had half of it at around six o'clock and then i got into the tub to like soak and then I had the last piece at 10. So this really has helped me with my cravings. Um, it's 200 calories, very low in sugar and carbs. So 
I'm just going to eat these when I have sugar cravings. And now I'm going to go ahead and make my breakfast and prep my meals for the rest of the day. You guys like my coffee cup? Now this is definitely me. Makeup and lipstick. I mean, that's the definition of schmear. This is the definition. Oh, so for you guys who are wondering, um, with my coffee. So I make this coffee. It is sugar-free. It is carb-free. So I have some trivia, um, no calorie sweetener. And then I also have a teaspoon of sugar-free French, French. And I have a teaspoon of French vanilla coffee creamer that I use. So everything is sugar-free, low-carb. And I mean, it's not the best tasting, especially when two weeks ago I was having um, caramel brulee lattes at Starbucks for 400 calories. And then I'm going with, you know, 20, 30 calorie coffee. It's a really big difference in taste, but the purpose of coffee is for energy and helping me stay awake so that I can get my work done. So it's working and I'm happy and I'm not going to complain. So, um, okay, my head, okay. So, my husband just took my week one or my week 12 pictures. Um, I want to track my progress throughout this program and I wanna track it like every week. So, of course, I'm tracking my macros. I'm tracking like basically my entire diet, everything that I eat how much carbs, how many grams, how much fat. Um, I'm tracking my workouts via body space. I do that every day. And I want to personally take pictures each week to see how my body was progressing. And I literally was going through the pictures that he took and I'm looking, I'm like, okay, I know I have like a, a lot of, a ton of body fat on top of my abs and a lot of my muscles, but I swore I seen six pack abs, right? So, I'm literally sitting here smiling and I'm like, my head is getting big and I'm like, wait a minute. I know I don't see an ad in this picture. I know I don't see an ad. So I showed my husband the um, the camera and he's like, no, I see it too. And I'm like, please don't say that to like make me feel better because it would have made me feel better. But I was like, no, seriously, like keep it real with me right now and tell me like you don't see an ad in this picture. He's like, no, I really do see it. God better not give me ads because I'm never having no clothes. Never. Like, I'm going to be naked every day. I'm sorry. I'm that's that's the deal. If I get six pack, I'm going to be naked every single day. That's it. That's it. So, I just want to share with you guys the good news. Um, I do see progress. Um, my weight has definitely gone down since um, last week <laughs> when I started this challenge. The diet the first week was horrible craving sugar the withdrawal it was just a it was a hot mess thank god i'm still married because i was not i wasn't nice but this is going into week two um the sugar cravings have definitely subsided the diet is getting a lot easier i finally um figured out how to track my macros last night um i was up to about 2 a.m doing a lot of research on you know, macronutrients and um, supplements and things like that. Just really doing a lot of research because I want to make sure that I'm healthy throughout this challenge. So I did that all last night and I finally figured out my macros. So um, if you guys are interested, I'll list, I'll list that um, maybe somewhere on the screen or I'll just list it for you guys. But um, I think I'm good with the diet. I'm having some trouble with my carbs though, which is funny. Let me just share this with you real quick. So, I've never been a really heavy breakfast eater. I'm really not hungry in the morning, so I did a lot of fasted cardio. But because I'm trying to build muscle and maintain the muscle as I cut down on my body fat, I have to eat in the morning. And it has to be, you know, good carbs to help me work out and all of that. So, my breakfast basically for the entire week has been one egg, egg whites. Um, I have been doing grits because I cannot do oatmeal. Like the thought of oatmeal turns my stomach. The sight of oatmeal, I'm literally gonna throw up. I just can't do it. So um, 
I've tried to get um, some type of carb in in the morning except bread so I'm doing the grits and I just mix it with my eggs and I've been doing Jenny O extra lean turkey sausage and I do two grams of that and that's about 324 calories and no lie maybe an hour later I'll work out and after I take my protein shake after the gym I'm really not hungry so I'm really not forcing myself to eat a lot of food but I'm forcing my meals down because me eating the carbs in the morning have really is really sustained me throughout the day so um, I'm really having trouble right now with making sure that I'm getting an adequate amount of carbs but I am listening to my body if I'm not hungry I'm not going to force myself to eat just so that I can hit you know 1600 calories I'm not going to do that so um, again if I'm not hungry I'm not going to eat but I don't want to make sure that I'm skipping meals so that's where I'm at for week two um, I am going to um, charge my phone so I can upload those pictures on my body space so if you guys are on bodybuilder.com or on body space make sure you um, at me I'm at I think my name is Shemir Nicole there as well but um if not I'll just list the information in the description box so I hope that uh hope you guys are having a good week stay motivated we have 11 weeks to go we're all going through the same challenges the same struggles we're all sore we're all tired I literally literally let me get this so I literally have a cup of coffee and it's about nine it's exactly 9 42 at night and I am going to um, check my emails for my blog do some work for um, the salon make sure I reschedule some clients and um, prep my meals for the next morning as well as my gym bag so I got a busy night ahead of me but I think my model for this entire challenge is hmm I had a lot of them I just think at this point is either you make moves don't make excuses like just don't make excuses if you want something bad enough you'll find a way and that's basically been my motto you'll find a way if you want to be fit you'll find a way to work out you want to be healthy you'll find a way to make healthy choices like I know I've been there trust me I've been 140 pounds I've been almost 200 pounds it's all about choices so make healthier choices make time the same way you make time to boo love Netflix and chill the same way you make time to go to the mall get your nails done with your girls you can take 20 30 minutes to get it done so I'm sacrificing a lot right now to get it done um, so that's basically it I hope my little pet talk <laughs> yeah, helped somebody but I'm going to get this work done and um, I'm trying really hard to work out at the gym and like bring my camera but I, don't, I work out by myself I work out in the morning everybody's already at work and there's nobody who can record it for me and I don't know I have to really figure it out if you guys have any suggestions leave it in the comment section because it's really hard when you're working out by yourself to try to record the videos and every five minutes you have to put the camera somewhere to make sure that the, the angle is right but then I'm sacrificing you know my workout hey I don't know but anyway so that's it guys for tonight I'll check in with you guys very soon